Hey everyone, Game Test here. Welcome back to another video. And today in this video, we are going to be doing more AI Chat GPT stories. Again, this video took a while to make. And before we get into it, we need to do a quick recap. Previously on AI Stories, Breezy. Breezy has been murdered. Gas filled the room. Breezy was not just a beloved streamer, but also a dear friend to many in the hive. Squad of Bozos continued. We suspect foul play from within our own ranks. Someone here is not who they appear to be. Game test pointed at Avery door. Avery! Breezy discovered your secret. You've been stealing content and limiting those who got too close to the truth. Avery door's face turned pale. You have no proof. Got you now. To their shock, the hooded figure revealed themselves behind the scenes to be none other than Walter White, the seemingly innocent cook. All right, so here we are on the sequel. It's called The Shadows Return for some reason. So let's start reading. The hive was bustling as usual, with content creators streaming, collaborating, and engaging with their communities. After their previous adventures, Game Tester and TS had settled into a routine, always keeping a watchful eye on the hive. The community had grown with the addition of new YouTubers like Manocom, Offacy, Cozy McHugh, Goofy Burger, Dark is Here, Fire Ultra Miner, Cave, and Epic, each bringing their own unique flair to the digital ruler world. But beneath the surface, something sinister was brewing. One morning, Game Tester received a message from Manocom, one of the newer YouTubers known for his calm demeanor and insightful content. Game Test, something is wrong. You need to come to the central hub now. Game Test and TS immediately teleported to the central hub, where they found a small group of YouTubers gathered, their faces pale with fear. In the center of the room lay the digital avatar of Cozy McHugh. Lifeless and glitched, they killed my boy Cozy. <laughs> Cozy had been a rising star in the hive known for his warm, cozy streams that felt like home to many. That is not true. What happened? Game Tester asked, kneeling beside Cozy's avatar. Mano, Mano shook his head. We don't know. His stream suddenly come out, and then we found him like this. Off sea! We have been inspecting the scene, looked up with a grim expression. How do I do his voice? Um, This isn't a glitch. Someone did the- Okay, that's terrible. Game Tester and TS quickly took charge of the investigation. They called in the other YouTubers who had been close to Cozy McHugh, including Goofy Burger, known for his hilarious skits, and Fire Ultra Miner, a skilled gamer with a penchant for uncovering secrets. Dark is here, a mysterious and reclusive figure, and Epic, a high-energy content creator, also joined the group. Cave, who had recently rebranded her channel with a more vibrant and pastel aesthetic, offered her support as well. The group decided to work together to uncover the truth behind Cozy McHugh's demise. Obviously, with his analytical mind, began examining Cozy McHugh's last stream. There's something off about the data, as if someone tampered with it, but they were careful to cover their tracks. Fire Ultra Miner chimed in. Maybe they left a clue in the code. We should check all recent activity or all recent activity logs. As the investigation progressed, tension rose among the YouTubers. Everyone seemed to have something to hide, and suspicion grew. Goofy Burger mentioned that Cozy McHugh had been working on a secret project, but no one knew what it was. Epic, usually upbeat, seemed unusually quiet, while Dark is here kept his distance, observing everything with a cold, calculating gaze. Manocom, who had been close to Cozy McHugh, revealed that his friend had been receiving strange messages in the days leading up to his death. He told me someone was trying to sabotage his channel, but I didn't know who. Game Tester and TS decided to dig deeper into Cozy McHugh's messages. Officey managed to decrypt Cozy McHugh's messages, revealing a chilling pattern. They had been sent from different accounts, but they all had one thing in common. They were from someone who called themselves The Phantom. The Phantom? TS echoed. Who could that be? Cave, who had been quiet until now, spoke up. I've heard rumors about The Phantom. They say it's someone who can manipulate the code of the hive itself, leaving no trace. <laughs> Dark is here finally stepped forward, his voice low and menacing. How do I do his voice? The Phantom isn't a rumor, it's real, and it's been watching us all alone. With this new information, the group began to suspect the Phantom was one of them. Game Tester decided it was time to confront the others directly, because that did work last time. Everyone has a motive, Game Tester said, addressing the group, but we need to figure out who had the means and the opportunity. Officey nodded. Let's start with who had access to Cozy McHugh's channel. 
The group relentlessly agreed to share their alibis. Goofy Burger claimed he was recording a new skit. Fire Ultra Miner insisted he was busy working on a new strategy for his gaming channel. Manalcom and Epic both had solid alibis, backed by timestamp streams. However, Darkest here had no alibi, and his mysterious nature made him a prime suspect. I don't need to explain myself, but if I wanted to, I could take down anyone here without leaving a trace. Cozy McHugh wasn't my target. As they continued their investigation, the group stumbled upon a hidden file in Cozy McHugh's data. It was a video, partially corrupted but still viewable. In the video, Cozy McHugh mentioned a name that sent chills to the group. Epic. Everyone turned to Epic, who backed away as himself. No, no, it's not what you think. Again, took a step forward. Explain now. Epic, trembling, confessed. I found out who the Phantom was, but I was too scared to say anything. The Phantom threatened to ruin my channel if I talked. And, and who is the Phantom? Epic took a deep breath breath. It's Officey. All eyes turned to Officey, who remained eerily calm. I see you figured it out. Yes, I'm the Phantom, but you don't understand. I didn't kill Cozy McHugh. Then why all the secrecy? Officey sighed. I was trying to protect the Hive. I discovered vulnerabilities in the system, and I have been patching them without anyone knowing. But Cozy McHugh stumbled onto something he wasn't supposed to see. What was it? Game Tester demanded. A back door in the code, Officey revealed. Something or someone had been using it to manipulate the hive. I was trying to shut it down, but Cozy McHugh found out before I could finish. He tried to confront him, but before I could explain, he was attacked by the real culprit. Game test realized they had been chasing the wrong lead. If Offsy isn't the killer, then who is? Suddenly, the central hub's lights flickered and a chilling voice echoed through the room. You're too late, Game Tester. The hive is mine. The group turned to see a figure materializing from the shadows. It was dark as here. His avatar now twisted and corrupted. I am the true Phantom, and Cozy McHugh is just the first of many. Soon the Hive will bow to my power. Dark is here and a brigade of digital attacks, corrupting the environment around them. Game Tester TS and the others fought back, but Dark is here's control over the Hive was too strong. Officey! We need your help! Game Tester shouted. Officey, now determined to make amends, began working to disable the back door in the code. I'll need time! Keep him busy! Manacom, Goofy Burger, Ultra Miner Cave, and Epic joined the fight, using their skills to distract and weaken Dark. Game Tester and TS focused on protecting Officey as he worked against the clock. As dark as here's power grew, the situation became dire. Game Tester knew they couldn't keep this up much longer. There's only one way to stop him. We need to cut off his connection to the Hive. But how? If we can overload the system, it might be enough to serve his control. Game Tester nodded. Do it, Officey. Officey began rerouting all available power to create a massive surge in the system. The group continued to fight, buying him as much time as possible. Finally, the system reached critical mass. Dark is here sitting the impleding threat, tried to fee flee, but it was too late. The surge overloaded the back door, severing his connection and causing his avatar to disintegrate. The room fell silent as the light stabilized. Dark is here was gone, cost had, but the cost had been great. The hive had sustained significant damage and Cozy McHugh's death weighed heavily on everyone's minds. With Dark is here defeated, the group began the long process of preparing the hive again. Officey now seeing a new light worked tirelessly to restore what had been lost. Game Tester and TS and the others vowed to remain vigilant, knowing that the Hive would always be a target for those who sought to control it. And that was the AI story. So, that will do it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Check out all the creators in this video in the description, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. -bye.